Now, I want to stop just a minute and go on just a bit of a rant, if you don't mind. Okay, now, it's, it's a little bit weird to talk about what we're going to discuss in our next movie at this stage, but I did need to stop and make the very pointed admonition to you not to become a slave to software. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, I've been doing workshops for about 11 years and in my week-long workshops we have the post-processing session we all gather around we all open our computers and you know we uh, get our pictures all arranged and we're going to do a critique and I'll look at a student and I'll say okay where are your photos and they say well they're in Lightroom or they'll say I god forbid they say they're in iPhotos or iPhoto whatever it was I think it's now called photos and I said, okay, what would you do? What happens if, if Lightroom crashes? Where are you going to find your pictures? And invariably, I hear crickets. So that's the issue, is that don't become a slave to software. There's nothing more that these software manufacturers would like than for you to become dependent upon their software to manage your photos. Don't do that. Because if it crashes or it goes away, what are you going to do? Remember Apple Aperture? That program no longer exists. And if you had been using Aperture to manage your photos, where would you be today? You need to know exactly where your photos are. And we'll go into a great deal of detail uh, when we start talking about the specifics of your workflow as to how to deal with that issue. But I guess the basic admonition here um, on my rant is don't become... A slave to software. Don't let the, the tail wag the dog, okay? So just don't. Just say no.